Hey everybody, what's going on here? This is King of Cheese back here once again with another game. And today we have the game Master of Tactics, which is a, I guess, Brave Frontier style game combined with a little bit of Summoner's War. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys, if you're phone game addicts like I used to be at one point, uh, played Summoner's War, which is probably one of the top phone games at the moment. So if you played Summoner's War, then this game is no stranger to you because it's basically like that. And right here, you can see my character. You can pick up to four characters. You have one of each element, earth, wind, fire, and water. For my character, I picked water for this video, which is um, pretty cool. I guess this guy looks pretty badass if I do say so myself. And when you pick your character, you also pick your village, I believe, or your town. And it is the same elements as well. You have the earth, wind, fire, and water. So you can pick whatever you want there. I don't know if you can mix and match the uh, elements with uh, towns with the characters. But I did so anyways. I picked water and water. So I don't know what's going to change there. I think it makes it so if you pick whatever town your monsters that they're giving to you. Like my two mo uh, four monsters right here. The two flying bats and the two, I don't know, muffins with hammers. I'll call it. Um, there was those were given to me, so I guess if you pick up water, I get water uh, monsters to me. And yeah, this uh, game is pretty simple. You just kill things as you see. You can control your um, characters. You can guard, you can your special, you can attack basically. But just like no strangers to any other phone games because they're basically, nowadays, pretty much every <laughs> very, very identical. Um, yeah, and this game uses a. It's really, uh, really wants to use the uh, hexagon shapes. Uh, for what reasons alone, I do not know. Because later on in the video, you will see that the gear in this game—I guess you'll call it gear—they use um, press, and you can build like decks for it, and you can build up to, like three or four. I'm not sure. Uh, I can't remember actually right now. But you'll also give additional stats. So if you remember things like. I don't know, I just call it gear because they give you additional stats and you just place it on whatever you want and you get free stuff from it. Pretty simple. But aside from that, this game, I don't have much to talk about. As you can see, it's a 9 minute video. It's not even 10 minutes because 10 minute videos I have pretty much like the past month. This video, I don't know, there's just nothing to talk about. It's just basic, simple mechanics. You attack, you attack, you attack, and you kill things and you progress. Now, the one thing I don't like about this game is it's pretty, there's pretty much no story. There's basically grinding. The storyline is like pretty dead, if I would say so myself. And as for rewards, there's not many rewards in this game. You can get uh, crystals and uh, press. But again, like you see right here, I can build a deck, but after that, there's like, there's basi that's basically everything there is to like upgrading my gear. And after I maxed it out, it's like, alright, what's the point? What am I going to do next? As for crystals, I don't think you can. I think you can roll monsters or whatever, but I can't. I couldn't find it. So I don't have a rolling side of the video at the end. I think for crystals, you use them for crests, for RNG crests. And as for that, I don't really care. But I'm pretty sure crests are really like beneficial for monsters and stuff. So eventually need them but I was looking at it and basically all heroes or whatever in this game are like meh so I don't really know <laughs> I didn't play this game too often just checked it out for like 45 minutes or so and I thought this game was pretty meh to me I don't think it's like that great actually I don't think it's great at all if I'm being honest it's just basically a copy of like any other game I've played so far but yeah um if you guys want anything to do in your spare time I just I guess pick up this game It'll probably last you like maybe a good week or so unless you find this game really enjoyable then by all means play it as much as you want because I am no person to judge whether you can play a game or not. But yeah aside from that um, there is um, other factors in this game like guilds, raids but I, and PvP arena but I haven't been able to unlock them because I was like at level 5 by the time I quit the game which was like 45 minutes <laughs> if I'm being honest it's just, real, it's just I don't know it's just like Phone games nowadays are just basically the same thing. You just pick some heroes up, pick some monsters up. 
upgrade them, roll some more, and you just battle at it. Oh, this is basically the same thing. Like the most fun fun games that I find innovative are like Grand Blue Fantasy. I haven't played it, but I've seen like videos of gameplay of it. It's basically like Unity League. Like I think most game devs nowadays should just work on building other features around like games like that because I'm pretty sure Unison League is like the top 100 grossing right now because it's a unique game. Like I'm pretty sure there's no other game that does a similar combat system aside from like Grand Blue Fantasy. Like Unison League. It's a real time it's a real time strategy phone game which is nowadays really 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 hard to find and like nowadays people just do this alright I'm gonna build a party of monsters and we're gonna attack PvP is gonna be RNG based and yeah, that's basically it. There's nothing much to do about it. <laughs> oh, as you can see here, skills base are built off that blue mana bar, which is right below the frame of the monsters that you're using. So, in like this game, it builds off every three or four turns, depending on how much SP it uses or mana. I call it mana. If I see blue, I always say mana, regardless if it's like skill points or whatever. I always call it mana. And HP is right below the SP or mana bar, which is pretty pretty noticeable. Nothing unique or different there. The yeah, gameplay is pretty simple. Uh, nothing else to talk about that. And watch as watch as I kill these monsters. And we'll proceed in this game. Oh, also in this game there are missions that you can find in towns. Like if you notice, I've been clicking on exclamation points in towns, and those give you like a quick. Uh, one or two kill stage of monsters, and after that you get a reward. And the, the reward depends on what the mission is. They'll tell you at the end of when you get like uh, friendship points, gold, stuff like that. And after you do that, you just kill and you get the stuff. Pretty simple. And you get one quest every other level, I think, or something like that, for every level. It, it depends because when you see the exclamation point, they'll tell you like, oh, you can't do this quest until you're X amount of level. And when you're that level, you can do the quest then, and you just do it. I don't know, aside from that, there isn't much to say about the game. It's pretty bland, if I were to say so myself. Nothing very different or unique about it, aside from the hexagonal shapes. I'm pretty sure the game has already done that. Oh, watch here. That's basically your super, super the skill move that everyone gets in every game where you um, your owner or leader or whatever of the party the party leader just gives a super big AoE or whatever the buff is. For me there's a big whale or big shark. Wow, did I really just say whale? A big shark coming out of floor attacking everyone on the field. And the other one I think is a healing uh, healing regen. I haven't used it, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And yeah, oh, here we have the first boss of the game. I did a little skipping to get a battle like eight stages before we get to the boss. Now watch carefully because the difficulty in um, dungeons just spikes enormously. Watch here, boom! You see my HP of my monsters? Yeah. If I look at the HP of the boss, I'm not even close to it. Yeah, so you already know what's gonna happen. I'm about to get face rolled. Watch as my uh, team is go down. Right here, boom! I just lost one of my. Uh, muffins with hammers. So we're gonna attack again because I'm not doing damage right now. I'm very under level. I should be upgrading my crest. I'm pretty sure if you were playing this game more often, you'd be upgrading your crest. And this should be a more problem for you. And also grinding on your monster's top as well, making sure you don't get annihilated like I did right here. Now watch this last hit and boom, white. Am I gonna revive? Hell no. <laughs> There's no need for me to revive because. I'm not going to be playing this game for long. I'm just going to do the random stuff. If I, uh, I could have been rolling some RNG crest, but I decided not to. I'm just going to just keep the video the way it is right now. Just leave my crystals. Right here you can see all the new towns and facilities you can unlock later on in the video. And yeah, that's about it. It's a pretty short video, guys. This game is pretty bland to me. There's nothing much to say about it. And aside from that, uh, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. I will have a PC soon, so don't worry. So you do not worry. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.